everybody, this is Ilana Michelson from ilanamichelson.com, rapshell.com, whichever you want to go by. And I know it's a little bit dark over here, I hope you can see me well enough. But there's this really, really cute place here in Rehova, which I discovered a few days ago, which I just really want to share with you. It's like this little fairyland, so I'm going to turn my camera around slowly, and you're going to see the cutest thing over there. Let's see, can you see it? If you look over there, you see there's this tree house on top of the tree. And then, you get to me looking over here, you can see the big tree that it's on. It's like a really enormous tree. We'll get me a little bit closer to it. And you can see that in between, there's like two trees and in between, there's this really cool big wooden door. I'm gonna bring you even closer over here so you can see it. And if you look over here, there's these big wooden doors that lead you up to the parking place right over here. And you can't see them really, but hidden between all the trees and all the fences over here, you have this really cool little dwarves put all over the place. So it's really just a really cool place. And I guess that when people have enough money and enough creativity, they can do some really pretty cool things. And I kind of wish that sometime I'll have that and I will, and I'll do some pretty cool things in my place too. In any case, my topic for today's Facebook Live is about is about our unconscious mind and that godly spark inside of us and feeling good and feeling bad. And this is something that I've learned about recently that in general, first of all, okay, I've learned to use my emotional guidance system. And my emotional guidance system is like my GPS which means that if I'm feeling good and I'm in a good place, I'll go out and I'll do things. And I'll do things that I want to do and other things for work and all stuff like that. If I'm not feeling good, then I will not do the things that I need to do, not do things that I want to do, because I know that they're not going to end up right in any case. Now, why actually is that? What happens is, is that when you're in a good place, you're in connection with that godly spark that's inside of you. Now, when you're in connection, everything feels good because your godly spark always feels good. That source, be that inner being, the source energy that's inside of you, whatever you want to call it, doesn't make a difference. Sorry, this keeps falling, but I don't have anything to stand on over here. Any case, so you're when you are in alignment with that inner spark, when you're in alignment with that inner piece that feels really good, then let me go through around this way so you can actually look at the tree house at the same time. Then you're feeling a good place and things go well. When you're in a bad place, when you're depressed, when you're feeling sad and angry, what's actually happening is that you've separated from your inner being because your inner being is always there. It's always inside of you, but you've separated from it. And what that bad thing that you're feeling is really the separation from that inner being, from that inner, that godly part that's inside of you. And when you look at it like that, when you think about the idea of being lazy, of not doing things when you don't feel in the right place, when you don't feel like you're in the zone, when you don't feel things are working, what's really happening is that you're preventing yourself from working in a place where you're not in alignment with your godly part. And when you're not in alignment, it's gonna take you much longer. You're gonna have to bang your head against the wall probably. I mean, not literally, but metaphorically speaking, or maybe literally as well, I don't know and things will probably not turn out the same way. You, you'll, you'll just, everything will be much harder. Even if you get to the place you wanna to get to, it'll take that much more effort. When you are in alignment with that inner being, with your that godly spark inside of you, then things tend to flow. And when I'm in that place, the things that I could do usually take me 10 hours to do, I'll be able to finish within one hour. And that's a much better place to be. So I know at this point, and I didn't always know, it took me time to get there, but at this point I know that when I'm feeling good, when I'm in the zone, I get the work done. When I'm not in the zone, I'm lazy. I go to the beach, I take naps, I meditate, I take walks in the park, I spend time with my kids, I do cooking or baking, or sometimes cleaning the house, not too much, I'm not too good into cleaning the house, but that's okay. And then, when I get myself back into the zone after taking my nap or meditation or going to the beach, I know at that point I'm back in connection alignment with my inner self and then things are going to start to zoom again and they're going to go easy and effortlessly and I'm going to feel like I'm in the flow going downstream without having to even paddle or, or anything. That's the time to do your work. 
Now, the big thing that I understood over here, and this is from Abraham Hicks, was that when I'm not in the flow, when I'm feeling depressed or bad, it's because I'm separated from my inner being. Now, for most people, unfortunately, the status quo of being separated is the normal. So when they get into the zone, they feel absolutely amazing, but it's very, very rare. Their normal is what, you know, regular every day. And then every now and then, or often, more often than not, they feel really, really down and depressed. But they don't even feel that normal that it's not feeling good. When I'm 90% now in the zone feeling good, when I'm down or depressed, it really gets me down. But luckily I have all the tools to get myself back up again. And usually I don't stay down for more than a day or two, and I manage to bring myself back up using all the tools that I use with all my clients on a day-to-day -day basis. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. If you have any burning questions you'd like to ask me, ask down below and I'll answer them in future Facebook Lives or in posts. Or you can contact me at iglanamexlin at gmail.com and I'll have happy to have a conversation with you as well. If you haven't yet given me a like, give me one below. Hi there, Shari. Um, give me one below. And if you are watching this on YouTube, give me also a like for the subscribe button and for the bell notifications that we notified in future cases for more videos that come out and you'll be able to see the more videos and be notified about them. Anyway, wherever you are in this great big world, have a great morning, have a great evening, have a great night. And remember, everything's always going your way. Everything's always going my way. Everything, everything is always going everybody's way. Have a great day from Ilana Michelson, Afshel.com.